Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. Well, it's the day before Christmas and I just felt like drawing again. <laughs> I guess I never stop. So I thought today I would draw a bear. Um, I just haven't done a grizzly bear for a long time. I did one in watercolour, but I thought today I'd do one with my uh, pit pens, my Faber-Castell pit, pit pens. Uh, they're an ink pen. Um, so yeah, so I'm going in and I'm just using greys and building up layers and layers of browns and yeah slowly build up the bear to his full colors so at the moment i'm going in with um a light flesh tint as the very base coat so i'm just popping that all around and i'll fill in his whole body or his front half anyway i haven't done the complete bear i've just done the head and shoulders and I got this reference off Unsplash. So I was just having a search around and found this guy and thought he was gorgeous and thought I'd have a go at drawing him. So I just yeah, keep on going around. These, te these pens, they go a long way. As you can see, I've just rubbed out the background or the back part of the bear and I thought I'll just go in and add it around because the front of him will be quite dark. So I'll cover the pencil there. But um, he has quite a few highlighted areas on his shoulder and his back. So I thought I'd rub the pencil out because then that disappears it. So I take it down his front legs. So I just run that down everywhere that's going to have fur. Take that round just around his back a little bit. And now I'm going in with cinnamon and just taking the next layer pretty much everywhere that I've been and just add another layer of colour. Following the direction of the fur, making sure to follow the fur texture. So I've taken note on the picture where his fur goes and what directions it goes. And as I build up the layers, it'll be less liney looking. It'll, it does blend a whole lot more. The more layers you do, the better it looks. Like anything, I suppose, any any kind of medium you use, the more layers, the better. But I'm, yeah, still focusing on having the fur going all the directions it needs to go. And again, I just take that over his whole body. And his first sort of curls different directions down his shoulders and across towards his back. So and down his legs, it's, it sort of goes a bit straighter to the front and then curls to the back at the back of the front legs. So I sort of take note and do that. And now I'm going in with Sanguine and just running that around. It's quite a rich colour. It's a really rich goldy brown. So I take that around and I'll basically, I'll be covering this with a darker brown so you'll only see little bits of this. But I'll take that around everywhere that's going to be very dark. So now I've got uh, my dark sepia and I do a little bit with that and then I decide I'm going to go and get my, um, what is it, this one's raw umber. So then I go over the top again with raw umber leaving little spots where you can see through to the underneath fur and I take that right across him everywhere pretty much. You've got to go through an ugly stage before you get to the good stuff. <laughs> so he's just hit the ugly stage. So, so yeah, he's still looking pretty patchy. But we do get there in the end, but with layering. So now I have my walnut brown. So I'm going over the darkest areas and those parts that I just did that were quite vibrant. I'm going over them with the walnut. And that, as you can see, it softens that right down. 
but it leaves a really rich glow underglow in his coat because he, he does have a beautiful rich shiny coat so I'll take that around his chin and then I've got I've got um, I think that's my dark sepia and I just take that around his shadows and darken up, really darken up the dark areas. Take it around his shoulder a little bit. Just do a few textury bits there and around his chin and around the top of his head. So now I go into his muzzle and I grey up the front of his nose. And down the front of his face, I go in with the lighter grey. Pop, a few, And now I've got the white pen and I'm just touching, oh it's a light, light grey. I'm touching in a few highlights here and there. Then I get the Posca for the absolute highlights and just touch the brightest bits that are reflecting sunshine. And then I darken it with the black, just the tip of his nose, the very darkest point under his, under his leg. And now I'm going into the background with watercolour. I thought he needed a background, he just looked too stark against the white. So I'm just going in with, hang on a second, I'll check. With my earth green so i'm literally just using pure earth green in a very wet wash and just taking that all around and i darken up the bottom left front corner just leave it that fraction darker and he's done so i hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoy drawing this bear i hope you guys have a wonderful christmas and have a lovely safe time and I shall see you guys after Christmas. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okay, bye.